Hello YouTube, I'm Danny Galuli, and this is the second part to my lip sync tutorial. And if you haven't seen the first part yet and you don't really know how to lip sync yet, then I recommend to go see that one. I'll put a link in an annotation and in the description. But anyways, in this part of the tutorial, I'm actually going to talk about actually using audio in your flash and how to lip sync to that audio. So first off, you need to import the audio. So just go under uh, File, Import, and Import to Library or Import to Stage, whatever, and put it in a layer. And I've already done that. You can see it's in the audio layer, the top layer. And what you have to do once you put it in is you have to make sure that it's extended all the way to where the audio stops on the timeline. And a very important thing to remember is to make sure that for the settings for the audio, there's a setting where it says sync. And on that, you want to make sure it's stream. It's under stream. Don't do it as an event. Doing it as an event is better for things like video games or something like that. Not good for lip syncing. So make sure it's under stream. Make sure it's under the setting stream or else it'll be annoying. <laughs> okay. And an important thing to do is under your settings, make sure that you have, see it's not set this way, make sure you set the audio to a good quality because the default quality is really bad. <laughs> so uh, make sure you have it as really good quality. Um, I, I like to make it the best quality. You might want to, if you are dealing with big files, you might have to not do it. I generally like to com not convert stereo to mono. I like to keep it as stereo. Uh, so j just be mindful that the default for flash, and this, this is under publish settings, the default quality for flash for audio is really bad. So you'll be freaked out by how bad it is when you export and the fix is just set it to better quality. <laughs> Make sure you do that or else it's gonna be really bad quality. So I have some audio of me speaking, I just say, the sentence, I like to swim over there. Because I thought that was a sentence that has a lot of different uh, kind of sounds that your mouth makes. And an important thing to remember, and this is gonna be relevant for this one, I'm gonna play what this sounds like, so. I like to swim over there. Okay, so I tried to over enunciate to make it a little bit easier for myself to lip sync in this tutorial. But anyways, an important thing to remember, if you're lip syncing to English, which I'm lip syncing to English right now because I'm speaking English, it's particularly with English, it probably is relevant to certain other languages too, but particularly English has a lot of different diphthongs. So certain vowels, like for example, the vowel I, the vowel I is actually two different sounds. It's A and E. So I, so that's, that's what it's just like kind of fast and together it sounds kind of like one sound, but it's actually two different sounds. That's an important thing to remember when you are lip syncing, if you're, especially if you're doing English, uh, that uh, the I sound is not just one sound, it's actually two different sounds. If you really want it to look accurate, that's gonna be relevant. So what we do is we just play along the timeline and we figure out where it starts and I can kind of tell it starts around frame nine. If you play, you can tell that it kind of, it starts right there. You can hear that I start saying the word I. So what we do is we just select the mouth and under the single frame, right now it's at 10 because that's the smile frame for me. We're gonna change that to frame one because that's where my ah mouth shape is. So now, now you notice when it plays, it, the mouth opens when I start saying the word I. So now we're gonna try to figure out We're gonna start where, to fi figure out where the, the, the sound that I'm making starts to change in I, where it starts to change to kind of an E sound. I, 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 I. 
right there, it kind of starts to change. The, the vowels changes kind of from an ah to a kind of a or e kind of sound. So I'm going to make a keyframe there, F6, to make a keyframe. Make sure you always make a keyframe before you change it, or else you're going to mess up and it's going to be really annoying to fix. So make a keyframe, and then I'm going to change that to 2. So it's going to start on frame 2, and that's the E vowel shape. So now, if you go across it, so it's I. You can kind of see it. It kind of makes it, it, it changes when the vowel changes. Now I'm going to keep on going, and I'm going to go at a little bit of a faster pace. Okay, sometimes it's hard to know when it. But. It's better to start a bit earlier. It's okay if the mouth shape kind of is anticipating. It's better to start earlier than to start when and after they're already talking. Now again, here's the I sound. Okay, so I'm gonna make a keyframe and make it change it to an ah. Now here's a little bit of a dilemma because the I or the E kind of vowel shape I have is actually the same thing I use for the ka sound. So let's see what it looks like if I, I'm just going to keep it. You might want to do something about that. Maybe change it slightly just so it kind of, when the sound changes, something happens to the mouth, but I'm just going to keep, keep it the same when it changes to the ka sound. So the next sound is T, is a T sound. So let's see how this looks. Like okay, that looks pretty good. Well, I'll make it right there. So do a keyframe, and then the OO sound I have in frame eight. So that's the T. Sound the T sound is frame seven, and the O sound is frame eight. I like to swim. Now you might want to make it sure it's a little bit more accurate, but just for the sake of time, I'm not gonna. Swim. Okay, so. Swim. Swim. So you might notice that certain shapes are. I use certain shapes for different, a lot of different consonants, like T and S, I both use this mouth shape. Swim, swim, now, swim, now we're going to find... Swim, 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 swim. Okay, so that's where the W sound starts, and that's in frame 9. Okay, and then... Okay, so this is the same. Now the next mouth shape is the same as the E vowel. It's E. In. Okay, so that's where the M consonant starts. And so it's M. So, and that uh, also can be used for B, for B sound or a P sound. Okay, I guess that's where, about where the O sound starts. Okay, so that's the O sound, and that's the O shape, uh, and that's frame six of the graphic clip. I'm going to try it right there, and that should probably look about right. And that's three, which is the V sound. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just I just keep on kind of scrolling along until I can figure out where the sound starts. Okay, and then.
Okay, so there, make a keyframe, and that for there, for the, the the sound, the TH sound, now I usually use the same mouth shape as the L sound, because you use your tongue to make the the sound. You put it kind of behind your teeth. Yeah, R's can be weird too. So right now I'm doing, so it's, it goes from the TH, the A sound, it's like A, but then it's gonna go into an ER sound. Okay, so around this frame, it changes to the ER sound. And that's frame nine of the graphic clip. And then after they're done speaking, you can put it back to closed mouth so you can. And so this is the effect, basically. I like to swim over there. OK, so yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty good. I'm sure you could come up with a better one. That's what, what I, I would challenge you. You can kind of use this basic technique, but maybe use more mouth shapes. Or you can try to find your own technique. But this will get the job done. And honestly, as you can see, even this technique takes a lot of time. And honestly, that's just kind of how lip sync is. It, it, it's time consuming. It takes a lot of time, no matter what method you use. Even if you use this easier method, it still is going to be time consuming. But I hope this was helpful. And yeah, I mean, you can post any questions, comments in the comment box. And if you like these kind of videos, you can subscribe and Maybe you'll, can, you can see more of these videos in the future, hopefully. But thank you for watching, and bye.